Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome back to episode 12 of Hearts of Iron 4. I'm still trying to work out what I am doing, but I think I've got a relatively half decent idea of what is going on at the moment. I'm getting quite a lot of air experience and I'm thinking that I might want to put that to use. Maybe go ahead and actually build some slightly better bombers. We are still using these um, interwar bombers. Uh, we've got a lot of them that we need to upgrade on and... Um, well, it is the Whitney Mark II, actually. It is one that we did upgrade. We are working on some um, hurricanes at the moment. What I might do, actually, is I might save up that air experience, wait until we can actually produce Spitfires, and then go and get some really overpowered Spitfires, and we should never have to worry about air superiority again with that done. Uh, we, we are building a couple of carriers. We don't have any carriers down here in the channel at the moment, which is a little bit of a concern because that means that there is a possibility that we could get bombed uh, in the channel. I'm hoping we can avoid that. Just making sure I keep moving all of my troops down to Dover here so we can get them across. Um, what do we have down here? This is an escort force of 11 destroyers. Is it for some reason? It is indeed. Let's just go and throw you a random admiral, and we will also get you to um, patrol out here in the channel, probably. Uh, decryption frequency analysis is complete, so that is another research done. Um, which one exactly was it that we just got? That one. So basically, decryption plus one. So what can we go into now? Um, encryption plus one. We could get um, better radar stations. Most of these things are a little bit ahead of time. We can't really get atomic research yet. Um, is there anything in the industry tree that we could get that would help us out? Construction speed plus 10%. Well, that's got to be useful. Let's go and work on that and uh, see if that helps helps things out any. So how is this battle actually going here? According to this, our forces are actually now in a weakened state. Um, most of the German forces are still on the Eastern Front, directly attacking Poland. So I was kind of hoping that we would be relatively um, safe over here and able to push in against them. But it doesn't look like that's happening. Unfortunately, I don't know what France are doing. I don't think France know what France are doing here. I don't even think France are actually getting involved. We don't really appear to be pushing forwards all that much but we'll keep recruiting units we'll keep sending them in we should have air superiority over here uh, we are currently losing in this fight yeah we're losing units all over the place to just basically infantry we really are um, taking some heavy losses in a lot of these uh, engagements over here not too sure why France aren't helping we may just have to stop fighting and just pull back and just try and hold them off. Because we are losing some units, which is a little bit worrying. Keep moving units down into Dunkirk. Yeah, I really didn't think that the Germans had all that many um, units on this border still. But we do seem to be losing pretty much every encounter that we're attempting here. Uh, what are you doing? You are repositioning. See, why aren't we attacking here? Why aren't you guys attacking here? And why aren't the French helping? Well, I guess we know the answer to that question. So we are... What are we doing? We are attacking into infantry. We've got tanks here as well. So how is a tank regiment not... Uh, two tank regiments not able to take out three infantry? Yeah, we're going to have to fall back here. Right, the French are actually attacking now. Oddly enough. Uh, we can modify our government. Let's just have a quick look and see what we could potentially get. Um, military factory conversion cost minus 20%. Well, we are planning to do a few of those, so that could also be useful. Um, there again, we can get an aircraft designer. Gives our fighters more agility and more max speed. More um, carrier fighter agility and max speed. That could be useful. Um, Hawkers, actually. Yeah, let's get some better ground attack. Let's make our close air support um, planes actually a little bit more effective because I'm, I'm getting the feeling at the moment that they're not really as effective as they could be. Let's have a look how we're doing with production. Uh, we're still okay on our military equipment, so that is fine. Um, yeah, we are short of a lot of fighters and bombers. 
The naval ones we are kind of catching up with. We're, there's still a little bit of a deficit. But we are actually working on them. Now then, did, we, did you arrive in Dunkirk? You did. There's Shadow Scheme finished, so that's going to help. Uh, let's get you guys assigned to the front line. How's the production queue looking? We're not even doing the conversions yet. Uh, Belgium has joined. Fantastic. Still only the German Reich in on the opposing side. So now that Belgium has joined, we could potentially go and spread our line out even further now. But that also means that the, um, Germany has to thin their line out a little bit. So that is good. Um, so we could go for the industrial effort. Having that extra research slot is going to be really nice. I think we go into industrial effort and then into the um, uh, extra research slot. So that's what we're going to start working on. It'll pay, Again, it's one of those things that might not seem like it's necessarily all that useful. But it will pay for itself. Um, the United Kingdom has called Netherlands as an ally in the war. So again, just the German right. But the Netherlands is in now. And again, this is good because the, the, Germany are going to have to spread their um, forces even more thinly. Hopefully Belgium and the Netherlands can hold them back. Uh, we do still need to be creating units. Do we still have units in the production queue? Uh, I'm not too sure about getting more paratroopers. Um, right, Italy's now been called in. This is where things are going to start to get interesting. Uh, we probably won't want any more mountaineering divisions. We are still working on some more infantry divisions. We've got no manpower at the moment, though, which is a big problem. So, yeah, we've now got Italy in the war. Now, that is an issue. Now, Italy probably aren't going to be a huge problem for me at the moment. But that might change. We do have a lot of units around here. I'm going to go ahead and group all of you guys up. Put you all together in one spot. I feel that would be a little bit safer. So I don't know how many um, Italian units are going to come around here and actually try and attack me. I don't even know if Italy have any units um, around here. We could try and take this stuff down here, though. Um, let's get you guys all into a bit of a position. Italy doesn't have anything over on this side. Do we have a port? We can get you... Can we get you over there? Um, we can if we move you here first. And then what about over here? We could possibly go and try and take that. So let's go ahead and get all of you guys moved up into this province. We'll try and push against Italy if we can. Um, send volunteers request from the United States. Okay, so what have we got here? The United States wants to send one division as volunteers to help out. Oh, thanks, America. That's gracious of you. Uh, volunteer forces in transfer. Naval convoy results. Yeah, I think we've got some... Oh, wow. Italy... Oh. I just looked at that and thought, wow, Italy have got a massive amount of units in France, but they haven't. It's just how it's uh, sort of snapping the things together. Actually, it looks like we're winning a couple of battles over here, which is nice enough. So that is a relatively good start. Now, obviously, France are going to pull some of their forces off the German line to come down here on the Italian line, which is a little bit of a pain. There are, of course, some Italian units down here, but we should have naval superiority without much of a problem. France are probably going to attack from the other side there. I intend to move in here. What have we got here? Oh, no, whatever it was, it disappeared. It couldn't have been that important. Uh, Netherlands wants to send four divisions out as expeditionary forces to help us out. That is fine. Um... Again, we are basically winning all of our naval encounters, which is something we should hope that we are as um, Great Britain, or the United Kingdom, or whatever you want to refer to us as. Taking a little bit of attrition getting in down here, but that is understandable. So let's get you guys down. Can we not? Is this not a dock? That's a dock. Can we not move you here? Yes, we can. There we go. Not too sure why I was having to battle against the interface there. Um, bases in low supply. Supply in this area is not enough and this is impacting naval and air bases. Any missions run from them will be less efficient. Yeah, not too sure I can do an awful lot about that at the exact moment though. Looks like we're winning more battles over here than we're losing. And um, have we actually pushed forward some? It looks like we've actually um, managed to take a little bit of land from Germany there. Couple more regiments over here. Not regiments, divisions. Keep getting them all mixed up. Um, again, Italy lost some more convoys. I think we'll be able to sort that out. We are getting some divisions over here, so we can go and attack Italy. That's the plan. So you are going to be kind of a, an ar a one man army, really. We'll just go and give you a, a random general. We're not all that bothered. 
Um, you are going to have a front line which is there. You are going to have an offensive line which is... There's more provinces here than it looks like. But I think that's going to be your offensive line. And um, you guys can just go ahead and attack. And then when you guys all get into position, we'll get you to push in from the other side. Uh, Division of United States Promise has arrived in Marsha Matra to fight on our side. Okay, where, where's the go-to button? Where's Mars uh, Matra? I have no idea where that is. Um, there is a find button. Is it still F? It is. Uh, so where have you arrived? You're up here. Okay, so you've sent a motorized division into um, Northern Africa. That is fantastic, actually. Once all of our guys get their uh, stuff together and all get over here on the um, on the Italian border, we can see that there are a few Italian troops all together up here. And we want to grab you. Have you moved off, have you? Okay, that's fine. Um, you guys want to be in an army as well. You need to have yourselves a general. You need to have a front line. And your offensive line probably wants to be the coast, really. Try and take as much of the coast as possible or sort of back them off. That's not really the, the side that I wanted to um, get. Because now you want to come in right from the bottom there. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that front line. Let's try that again. So let's make this our offensive line, shall we? There we go. That makes slightly more sense. Uh, I think you guys can just go in and attack. So we've finished our better um, sea fighters now. Still can't work on that Spitfire yet. Don't really want to work on the heavy fighters, I don't think. Um, what about carriers? Can we get a better carrier? Yes, we can. So let's work on the Art Royal class carriers. Now then, let's go ahead and change our production line. Let's go and get rid of the carrier fighter. And let us now produce the sea gladiators. There we go. So we've got some upgrading to do. Do we have more free factories? No, they're all in use at the moment. Um, naval battles. Again, Italy lost more convoys. That's what we like to hear. We don't have a lot of units down here to fight against Italy, but... I don't think they have a lot either. We are already starting to make a bit of a push down here. Um, so you guys, you guys are all going to be in an army. And again, we will give you a random... I don't need armor movement speed. I haven't really been looking at these things. Uh, max entrenchment. Yeah, that'll do. So let's go ahead and set ourselves a front line, which is going to be this one. Will it not let me set that as a front line? Or has it set that as a front line? Yep, and then we want our offensive line to probably be, I don't know, up, up here. And then you guys can all go and, um, our division is still preparing. Oh, it doesn't matter, just go and throw in. Italy have hardly got any troops down there. So we intend to try and start taking some of uh, Italy's lands away from them, just because it'll probably make our life easier if we can pull that off. Uh, we do have divisions down here, of course, that aren't really doing anything. Uh, we've got some ships down there, which again, what do we have? Uh, we've got some submarines. Actually, you guys might be all right in the Mediterranean. Let's bring you over to Malta, where you might actually be useful. I want you to go to Malta itself. There we go. It's difficult to actually click on the uh, the thing itself. We're actually losing this, which is weird. So we can't see what's going on over there. No, we are actually pushing in. We're making, we're, we're gaining ground. That's fine. We're definitely gaining ground over here. Awesome. Uh, I was going to say, we've got two more units over here that we can just march through France. And uh, in fact, uh, which army is this one? This is the purple army. So if we add you to that army, did that just work or did I click the wrong button? Click the wrong button. Is it left click? Nope. <laughs> one of these buttons is not like the others. Um... Oh, no, they, they are. They're in the purple army. So you guys want to sort of get up and attack from this side, attack from France. Uh, what have we got going on over here? Lots of Italy lost some ships. Italy lost some ships. Italy lost some ships. And Italy lost some ships. Well, that's all going good. Uh, we are definitely making a push in here on the German border. 
That's fantastic. Sahara Desert, supply is very low. Not really surprised. Some naval combat going on down here in the channel. Now then, what is going on down here? Um, somebody's getting sunk. That's what's going on. Not too sure what's happening, but it, it appeared to be happening in my favour, so we'll take that as good. Very low supplies. Yeah, very low man, very low everything, I think. If only the Soviets could come in on our side, this would make life so much easier. But we are going to keep trying to push against Italy and see what we can do. We are definitely taking some ground down here. Um, can you guys... Well, yeah, actually, finish what you're taking. We, I will push that small army out to the rest of this coast as soon as they're finished. I mean, they're really not going to have a problem. So this is the green army. You're not actually very helpful in your colour, are you? You are going to be the blue army with the, the spade. Let's make that a bit lighter so I can see it. Kind of a, a weird colour. Yeah, that'll do. So you are the wrong army. It's this army. You, I would like a new front line. And, um, yeah, you just go and get that sorted out. I think you should be able to manage that without too much of a problem at all. Uh, we are unpaused. So I'm just trying to w sort of wipe out Italy's presence in Africa so we don't have to worry about Africa anymore. That's kind of the point. Um, what's going on here with the uh, Mediterranean fleet? They are docked up. Did they take damage? Are they having a rest? They're not doing anything. This is the Mediterranean fleet. You are supposed to be on patrol. Oh, they're currently repairing. Okay, well, that's fine then. If that's what they're doing. But if that's what they're doing, tell me that's what they're doing. Make it, make it obvious. Did I miss it? Was it something that I didn't spot? Does it tell me somewhere that they're repairing? Because it's not actually showing me exactly what's going on. Uh, how are our carriers doing? Definitely room for some more. Um, actually, I don't know. Most of them seem like they are pretty full up. But we are working on building some more carrier fighters now. So we're actually... I think these are upgrading. Yeah, we're upgrading to what is essentially the uh, the Sea Gladiator, which is the carrier version of the Hurricane. So uh, we will be getting some better planes on the go. Still very, very short on fighters. We probably don't need as many mechanized now. So let's go ahead and use some more of these factories in better positions. We're a little bit short on light tanks at the moment, actually. Um, let's... I don't really want to take any more off infantry supplies, if I'm honest. Um, let's go and... Naval bombers? We'll, we'll remove just one from naval bombers. We don't need to produce all that many. And we'll go and add you on to tanks. There we go. So that might help out. So how are things going over here on the African front? Not too bad, actually. We definitely seem to be making some progress. Uh, we are going to need for the Orange Army a new front line. So let's go and draw a line right across there. And we'll keep pushing north. And... Um, no, remember to activate. Uh, what has happened here? The fall of Warsaw. German forces advancing in Poland have succeeded in capturing Warsaw. Sporadic fighting continues in Prague and a few other districts, but organized resistance in the city seems to have ceased. The Polish government reportedly evacuated the city as the first German unit entered Warsaw's suburbs and their present location is unknown. Fighting against the German invaders continues on other parts of the country, but the loss of the capital is a serious blow to the Polish war effort. Poland did not stand a chance. The Soviet... I wish it wouldn't unpause when you click from one thing to another. Uh, the Soviet Union claims Bess, uh, Bessarabia. Uh, after massing forces along the Romanian border, the Soviet Union had issued an ultimatum to the government of, in Bucharest for the immediate transfer of Bessarabia to their control. The region once belonged to the Russian Empire, which the Soviet Union sees as sufficient legal basis for their demands. Romania has declared that it has no choice but to um, accede and its forces have withdrawn from Bessarabia. I have no idea where that is. Um, Soviet Union. Um, whose side are you on? Why don't the Soviet Union like us at the moment? Uh, are you in a war currently? Doesn't appear so. Let's go ahead and approve relations with the Soviet Union. We'd certainly like them on our side at some point. We have a free military factory. Let's go and put that on fighters, I think. 
We still have no manpower, so that's kind of hurting. Now, how are things going on this front? We have made some progress. We definitely want to sort of push up to that river if we can, because it will make life easier for us if we can get there. On the other side, uh, on the other side of things, um, Holland and Bel the Netherlands and Belgium, Belgium are getting their face kicked in, which is not good. We do have loads of these paratrooper units over here, which I've just sort of forgotten about. Still haven't worked out how to actually use paratroopers yet. France are trying to deal with the Italians, who are definitely making a push down here. We do have some units. What have we got here? There's the rest of that fleet. Um, what is actually happening down here? We've lost some units there. Naval battle um, seems fine. Italy lost some convoys. Where's our Mediterranean fleet? You guys are still down there, are you? So let's take you guys. And if you wouldn't mind going down there and docking up in Alexandria with the rest of the fleet. How are we doing down here? How is this push going? It certainly seems like we're still making a push. So Italy probably going to lose most of their Italian, um, most of their African holdings. Um, Portugal and Spain, I'm surprised you guys haven't been called into this yet. Got military access. Why don't you come and get involved? Um, invite to faction. They would not accept. Because they don't want to get drawn into the war. Same with Poland. Uh, so, Portugal. Poland, not lying about. Right, let's get working on that extra research slot. That's definitely going to be worth it. Uh, I still think we're winning more than we're losing up here. I mean, obviously, it's a long way to get into Berlin. Uh, it seems to be a lot of naval encounters. Um, don't know why Italy have got so many convoy ships up here, unless they're just trying to supply Germany, but they're definitely losing a lot of stuff. Okay, we've got some more um, troops that we need to try and get over to Dunkirk, so let's go ahead and work on that. Yeah, we are definitely making a push here, so I'm, I'm happy with that. We've completed excavation, so that now gives us an extra 10% on our resources. We might have to see if we can reclaim some of our factories now. We probably can. Uh, do we want to work on any of these things? Increase the production efficiency cap. Yes, we definitely want to go and work on that. Before we end the video, we'll just have a quick look at the trade. So, what are we currently importing in, if anything? Um, so, oil. We are importing some. I don't think we need to import this much oil, do we? How, how much oil do we need? Let's just... Um, Let's just go and send that and see if we're short of oil. Right, we are short of oil. We need 16 oil. Okay. I wish there was an easy... Just Oh, yeah, needed 16. It, it was there. I just didn't see it. So we need 16 oil. But that does save us a factory. So at least I think that saves us... Yeah, that saved us, uh, saved us a civilian factory. That's good. So we are going to have to get one of our armies at some point to push against the German line up here to the north. Although we are sort of pushing them back towards the river anyway. At least that's the plan. Hopefully, France can hold off Italy down here in the south. I will start bringing the rest of my men up once we've taken some more of the Italian land up here. We are definitely pushing forwards, but we do have we have lost a few units. Uh, Romania joined the um, joint axis. That's scary. Uh, let's group all of you guys up together and you should be patrolling. Fleet is still repairing. Can't tell what their health is like, but yeah, let's just get them back to, um, to patrolling for now. I think we need to do that. And I'm going to end the video there before we go way over time. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Hearts of Iron 4. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.